Hey guys, it's Jay here, and yeah, I know that I haven't been able to post update to update much or post any videos throughout the summer, though. Um, like I said in my 100 subscriber special, there was a reason to that, and really just because of sheer laziness and, sorry, and working throughout the summer, I really didn't have much time, though. But seeing how, uh, but right now, I thought I might as well do a little update video with in, with a Let's Play special, so. So sit back, so here's a little treat though, and the game I will be playing is... That's right, a Strike Witches game. Strike Witches STG, which is a, a, a fan-made Strike Witches game uh, that, that plays very much like a Toho game. I mean, I'm serious, it's just like you're playing one. And, um, really, anyone who's a fan of this anime should definitely, uh, give it a try, because I've actually watched this anime throughout the summer, I like it, I don't understand why it's so underrated, and I found this game, it's very much fun because I can't, because I have to import all the other real games and buy a 360 to get one of them. Um, so, yeah, it's just a simple side-scrolling shooter, it's simple, yet pretty addictive, so, um, okay, as much as I like the 16-bird version of the, uh, opening theme, let's just move on. Now I have a controller, so keyboard, so I can't really explain keyboard controls because I'm using a joypad. Okay, so this is the uh, character selection screen. As you can see, all 11 characters from the show are um, split in different squadrons. Squadron A, we got Yoshka, Lynette, and um, Mio. Squadron B, which is, you can call it the Blitzkrieg team because it's the German characters, Barkhorn, Erica, and uh, Mina. And then we got C, which is Charlotte and uh, Francesca. Squadron D, uh, Mio, and Perrine, and Squadron E, which is uh, Isla, Sonya, and Yoshka. Now, now, despite the fact that this looks like Sonic Heroes or, Son or the Xbox 360 Strike, which is game, you can't switch control of the characters. The first, char the first character in the diamond that you see on this screen is the one you control, and the others have a different type of ability. I think like the second member usually has some type of attacking move, then the uh, third one usually has a defensive technique, usually like bringing up shields or something. So, uh, as much as I like using these different teams, I'll just go with the Squadron A, and even though you're gonna hate me, Forge Fox, let's move on. Now this is just, um, explaining the story of Strike Witches, so you really should just watch the anime, because there's a lot of kanji in here I can't read. And it also shows pictures from the manga, I think. Yeah, it mentions the new Roy. Okay, the frame rate's gonna be messed up with Fraps. Fraps is definitely gonna mess up the frame rate. Okay, there's three stages to this. There's three stages to this game, in, in all. And each one of them definitely shows a lot of uh, resemblance. It's definitely made to resemble the enemy. And yes, the power-ups are panties and swimsuits. Uh, the, the white panties act as, uh, in, increase the, that gaze you see, and then the green ones give you, um, power-ups for your, uh, for magical power. I'm not necessarily sure what the magical power actually does, but I've tried using it. It doesn't seem to work. And the swimsuits just are there for extra points. Although I love this music. Oh, I love this music the game, the game has, though. And then we got a... This is not a boss, it's just a mini-boss. And of course, you can accelerate and break, which is with this frame rate, though, it's kind of hard to notice it. As you can see, um, you can. Mio is more like a defensive character in this squadron. Uh, when she gets hit by anything, be it an enemy or a projectile, she'll swing her sword. And that sword is definitely very helpful, though, because it, it, it destroys projectiles, much like in the game, much like in the 360 game. And of course, we got Lynette and her uh, anti tank rifle. I'll show what you. And the char and the lead character you had um, all have special abilities. I'll reveal that later on. Yeah, for once in the you start shooting. Oh. And of course, the little the Yoshi spaces at the end are your lives. Though there's no HP in this game. Wait, what? Damn it! I wasn't looking. I got shot down. So, oh yeah, and when you die, um, a shield appears in the area where you got shot down. It's like a little bit of a protection thing. Oh yeah, those are the new Roy cores that are flying off the uh, new Roy. They're, um, you can destroy them to get uh, some extra points. And I, I gotta keep accelerating because the frame, because perhaps is just cutting the frame rate in half. I 
still love this music though. Let's go. Thank you. Second stage. Uh, it's so hard not to quote Star Fox when playing this game. Or the watching strike, which is period. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. city now. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to mention that. Actually, no, we're not. It's more like an area in Carl's land. I, I, more like Berlin or something, you know, where, with Barkhorn's dream of the Hercidian ruins. More music. And I believe this is the new Roy that um, Charlotte slammed through when she broke the sound barrier. And by slammed through, I mean actually completely went through it in episode 
five. And he looks like an SR-71 Blackbird. This is a good formation. is complete. Bringing it up now. I, I couldn't help it. Now this would be the, uh, I'm assuming the new Roy that was in like episode 2 and 3. Or was it 1 and 2? Yeah, it was 1 and 2. Sorry. Okay, I gotta bring Neo up into the front. Summon other Neuroi in the, in the show. Alright, I wish we could go faster, but Fraps is screwing everything up. Yeah, I do remember now that Lynette only shoots when she gets hit. 